So what's funny is I have joked forever about wanting a haunted house just as a joke. With my like kids. I want to live in a haunted house? Yeah, like I just think that would be cool. <laughs> yeah, be careful what you wish for. Yeah, exactly. So it's just been a joke for our entire lives. And then... How long ago are we talking that you lived in this house? Um, I bought it three years ago, maybe. So pretty recent. Yeah. Still suffering some PTSD? No. Not for me, my kids maybe, but um, it was kind of a dream of mine to live in a haunted house. Be careful what you wish for. It was so seriously. Did you know? <laughs> really? Did you know when you moved in? No. Kind so of, explain this house of. to us. What kind of house is this? So this is, it was an amazing house. It was just a rambler, five bedroom, but in the back was like a full on like waterfall, trees, like it was gorgeous it was amazing and we loved it so I was at a place at that time in my life to buy this house but what's how it started was so we got the house and then my daughter was gonna move stuff for me like we had got it and that night she had a friend come over and she wanted to show him the house and my grandpuppy, so she took him. And the pre-story before that is, we have a thing in our house. Like there's always a protection sign in our house, like a thing that hangs in your door. So my oldest daughter is obsessed with like Holland. How hard is it to get one of these? Well, hold on, the protection signs in your house? Mm -hmm. And it got haunted? Well, this was before. Did it get broken? Did it <laughs> fall? I'm getting there. What oh, okay, I'm saying okay. is, so we have a thing. So like my a Blair oldest Witch daughter stick doll? <laughs> is obsessed with like Holland, Dutch tradition, blah, whatever. So I had a patient who was telling me about this. And in Holland tradition, they have the Dutch boy and girl. Correct. And you put that in your house you hang it in your house as protection mm -hmm. and so what's a dutch boy and girl they're like little wooden dolls the, yeah but this was like a gold version of them mm -hmm. and so my oldest daughter drew a picture for her of like wooden shoes and windmills and all this stuff and it was amazing because my daughter's amazing and she's very artistic and so in return my patient gave me this charm this dutch charm of this wooden boy and girl and she said you hang it in your house for protection so we did you hang it in your like so we always had it in our living room so when we bought this house that was the first thing to go there like that was a thing that hang in mm -hmm. the hallway and so my oldest daughter and her friend one night we were loading up stuff we had just bought the house and she wanted her friend to see it so she took the dutch charm first thing and my grand puppy and she went to the house and so she hung the dutch charm and winnie which is the grand puppy she's like she wouldn't so winnie grand puppy for those who don't speak laura <laughs> is your daughter's, my daughter's dog, dog. Okay. Yeah. yes it's a grand dog it's my grand puppy so, um, so they had went that night before we moved in and she had hung that charm on, I don't know how to explain it. You know, there's like that little hatch on the front door. Mm -hmm. So she had hung it there. They were trying to move some stuff in and they rushed back and they were like, mom, we had to leave. Like they couldn't even unpack the car. They're like, Winnie would not stop barking. Something is wrong with that house. And they got super freaked out, her and her friend, and they left. And she said before they went to leave, the Dutch charm fell off that hatch, which is not even physically possible. Like, and she's like, no, we can't move in there. <laughs> and me being me, I was like, yay, it's haunted. 